Hey, see here, and this is Moon Glow Bay. I've seen a few things online about this game, and it looks so good. And already I'm loving it. I only just started it, and I'm already loving it. I love the music. I love the really soft aesthetic and everything. This looks like such a comfort game that I know I will love. So, let's start. New game. Who are you? Love all of these. I love that uh, there's... None of these are like, you know, female, male specific, but like you can tell that they... I, I love that they don't say like, are you a, a woman or a man? Like, this might be non-binary, who knows? But they also give you androgynous ones, like these two, which, I mean, this guy... I'm sure that I'm gonna look like this when I get old, <laughs> but I want him instead. My pronoun, um, you know what, today I feel like a day. My name, what, oh. <laughs> That's not what I wrote. My partner, I want Casey, Robin, or Maxim. Maxim? Maxim. I don't know. I like this guy. So, um, they're also a day. We're just two NBs. You know, I love this. I already love this. And I can still edit who I am. Um, let's do the opposite, because, again, I did say that this is... I did say that that is what I'm gonna be. I forgot that I can also choose my partner, so let's go for a tailor here. Like, and all of the names are still names that could go for either a man or a woman, or, you know, an NB. They're all gender-neutral. So, Taylor. Uh, is also a day. We're just to NBs again. <laughs> Let's go. Start game. I love that loading animation. Oh, there's me! I look so cute. <laughs> See, come on you guppy. Grab the line. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Huh. Nothing, except for the water, the monsters, the curs. You know what the locals say. Mm. They're just stories, every one of them, I promise. Mm. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. Mm. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like at the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Uh, wait, dog? There's a dog? Let me see the dog. I want to see the dog. Let me see the dog. I can't see the dog! Listen, what are your priorities, game? I mean, at least you let me pet the dog, so I'll give you a pass for now. Now to cast the line. Fish will be more cautious if you cast near boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Press and hold to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Perfect. Now be patient, keep the lure still, and wait for something to bite. Mm -hmm. The moment the lure dips under, press and hold RT to hook the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Once hooked, continue holding RT to reel it in. Was that the sound it made? Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's lagging. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. That explains it. It wasn't really lagging. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. You catch the next one. Oh, hold that. 
that's what's happening. I was tapping. You'll cast the next one, I know it. All the RT to read in the DMT line. This is so simple and I'm here like... Well, what do I do? Excuse me, can, can you say that again? Okay, I need to hold it, okay. Fish will change direction. Nice, okay, now I get it. Grating bellyfish. Ooh, 38 kilograms. Nice. See? Easy when you get the hung. Give it another go, this time without my help. I mean, you weren't much help anyway, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, Taylor, but like, you told me something and then didn't do anything to help me after that. I'm just saying. Okay, so it doesn't tell you where to uh, hold the... Um, you know, what, what direction to do. That was only because it was a tutorial. But, I mean, it's pretty easy to understand. That you need to go the opposite way. There we go, that's only a 5 kilograms. Do I release it? Child of the Moon? Let's release it. Cute. <laughs> Fantastic, and a different species. We need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. Well, I released it, so... <laughs> I doubt we will. Can we have a little kiss first? Before all of this, can we have just a little kiss, please? It's the monster! The curse! Come to torment us! Ah! It's just a whale. Ugh, this town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Doggo! Mm -hmm. But the bay is full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the world. On that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure. Huh. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night, once you're back. My heart. <sighs> you still want this, right? You could always go back to Ontario. <laughs> of course, moving here, it's your dream. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? <laughs> I'm about to cry. My dream isn't isn't changed in 40 years. To spend every day with you. Mm. In 40, they've been together 40 years. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> then I'll be right here. The whole journey by your side. Welcome home. There's the kiss. I love watching a couple voxels kiss. This is beautiful already. <laughs> the thing is, we don't get much representation for older people in... Three years later, there we go. Yep. Yep, I knew about this. We don't get much representation for older people in video games, especially when it comes to romance. So this is... so cute. They've been 40 years together. Oh, okay, you just teleport down. Um, sure, let's open. 
I don't want to say something, but like this guy is insisting, whoever it is, is insisting on the knock. Oh, no, okay, they stopped. Let's pet the dog first. Okay, so I want to preface that I gave my character the they pronouns, but just in case you didn't know, my pronouns are he slash they. Uh, so you can, you can either use he or they, and I'm fine with both. So if I ever say he for my character, that's why. So, you know, just to preface that. Hey, C. Ah. River, why aren't you in Quebec? Mm -hmm. I gave my notice. Some things are more important. Is that my daughter? Is this it? Hmm. Or maybe my my sister-in-law? Presumption of the aforementioned beloved believed to be dead owing to a, an absence of no less than three years. Wow, it's also real. Wow, my place is a disaster. <sighs> it's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. You're doing what? Here, in Munglo? The mayor says it will be huge, a huge boost for the community. And people need the support. The whole bay has been struggling for years. And the fishing trade collapsed half the town closed down. If we can't attract new visitors soon, Munglo Bay might never recover. Anyway, Onto brighter things. It's time you open that present. Is it the present? Is it upstairs? Where is it? <laughs> I love the dog bed. I want to check something first. Okay, no. I was wondering if you could could interact with the um, with with the photo. Where's the present? Good boy. Adorable. What present? What? Oh, okay. Hey, see, why do you call the dog Waffles? Wait, let me guess. Because how much Taylor loved waffles? Not as much as me. Remember, every Saturday, right after swimming. Maple syrup, cinnamon, strawberries, glass of milk. Ah, uh, those were some good times. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> uh, I wasn't. Okay, so it's not our daughter because... Like, I mean, I, I, I've heard some people do it, unironically, but... He just called Taylor by name. She just called Taylor by name. Where's the gift? Oh, okay. Uh, A fishing journal? Uh, you haven't opened it in three years. To my darling sea, for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years, see? Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. What? You're saying I should restart the business? Huh. Precisely. A new street, street food stall is exactly what this town needs. Oh. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now. Cut some ingredients. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming. <gasps> and win the surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll be down on the beach. A caller from Quebec. That's not a caller. That's... um, River. Hi Taylor, it's been three years. Some days are a little easier, others are impossible. <laughs> Last week a letter arrived declaring your dad in absentia. So naturally, our daughter dropped everything. It is our daughter to come here. Thank you for my journal. I'll treasure it always and write to you often. So it is our daughter. Why? Why did she say... 
Oh, like, what did she call Taylor by name? I guess just not to um, give, you know, not to say dad because Taylor has they, they, them pronouns. So just in case that uh, ta the name is a good, a good way to not say that, I guess. But oh, I love they even have a daughter together. <laughs> Our daughter has suggested I, I restart the street food business. I know a great little spot to catch some ingredients. I suppose a dozen empty noodle packets isn't a fantastic cook for the house. Look for the house. So I already did those. Bye, Taylor. I love you. Okay. This is so cute. It kind of reminds me of my sims, the style, the the people as well. It rem like that's the kind of um the kind of look, I guess. Okay, that's the last of it. The trash cans outside since you clearly forgot Fisher. So it's my name Fisher as well. Did I get Taylor's name? Oh, that's my home. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why it's... I thought it was gonna be. Oh, the dog comes with me! I thought it was gonna be the boat. What a good boy! Another good boy. So many good boys. Okay, so let's go towards that exclamation mark. You were right. The streets are so empty, I barely noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple. But at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. This is so cute. This is, I, I'm gonna cry. I'm, I, I'm honestly gonna cry. You can use a quick burst to effort, uh, of effort to hold the fish in a particular direction. It's called striking. To strike, move against the direction the fin, then press LT. Just don't strike too often, or you'll tear yourself out. I'm getting tired though. Okay. So I don't really understand when you get tired. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know it's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a plumbing marine biologist. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Huh. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and learn. There we go. Oh, it's not big. It's only four kilograms. Or is it? No, it's only four kilograms. Excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure and bait and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Whoa, stop the press! Sea fish is out of the house before midday! Hey, Abby. You remember River? Of course! What brings you to your shabbly little burg? Wait, see, is that... You finally opened it? It's a fishing journal. Taylor and I had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. See? You are gonna... <laughs> nice. Thanks, Abby. 
Sorry, sorry, but in three years you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna peddle peace and cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada, I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Okay, um... Let's do this quickly. Let's try and do this quickly. Okay, see, if you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. <laughs> Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. So, I can't do that because I don't have any other shells and I have fish to do fish cakes. Let's do it with one of these. Cook! <laughs> Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredients you need to source are fish. Okay, first go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. <laughs> now move to the different stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise, mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value. So wash. Oh, okay. Move to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. Oh. I like this. I really like this. This is so clever. Chopping. Press when the marker is in each zone to chop. There we go, perfect. Boil. Move to keep the water at the correct temperature. Whoa, whoa, this is so... So sensitive. Oh my god, that is incredibly sensitive. Stop, stop, hold and release when the marker reaches the heat zone. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Well, I did it. I overfried it, but I did it. Press when the marker reaches the hit them. Oh, press! I don't need to hold it. Fuck. Okay, well, the last two were a uh, mistake, but still. Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. And I got a fish cake. Nice. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in, in your front yard, uh, yard we love to do for now. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Fish cakes. Perfect! Here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day, and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your, directly, I guess, to your account. <laughs> this old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Uh -huh. Her go-to runs the tech shop. It'll give you a good deal. Oh. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sar the bot shop. Finally, for information about the uh, fish pieces. And filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. Huh. See, you're really serious about this? I once been out on these waters for three years. It seems Taylor, I know. <gasps> there are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there. And we both know what it's like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. Mm. So, uh, Sarah, Haru and Marina, I'll see you soon. Okay then, well, um, the reason I was trying to rush it is because I'm um, running out of space on my computer, so uh, if I don't stop recording soon, the whole thing will disappear, will be deleted. So yeah, I, I'm sure as much as I want to keep going, and I really want to keep going. Oh, well, look at the little boy looking through my tra trash. Anyway, as much as I want to keep going, I will have to end it here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.
like, comment and subscribe as always. Let me know what you thought about this game, if you loved it as much as I did. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!